They're brought up to believe that you shall earn your living by the sweat of your brow. That holds people back. Freeing people from drudgery, repetitive jobs which make them ignorant. You rob them. In our society, that is a resource-based economy, machines free people. You see, we can't imagine that because we've never known that kind of world. If we look back at history, we see a very clear pattern of machine automation slowly replacing human labor. From the disappearance of the elevator man to the near full automation of an automobile production plant, the fact is, as technology grows, the need for humans in the workforce will continually be diminished. This creates a serious clash, which proves the falseness of the monetary-based labor system. For human employment is in direct competition with technological development. Therefore, given the fundamental priority of profit by industry, people through time will be continually laid off and replaced by machine. When industry takes on the machine, instead of shortening the workday, they downsize. You lose your job. So you have a right to fear machines. In a high technology, resource based economy, it is conservative to say that about 90% of all current occupations could be phased out by machines, freeing humans to live their life without servitude. For this is the point of technology itself. And through time, with nanotechnology and other highly advanced forms of science, it is not far-fetched to see how even complex medical procedures could be performed by machines as well. And based on the pattern, with much higher success rates than humans get today. The path is clear, but our monetary based structure, which requires labor for income, blocks this progress. For humans need jobs in order to survive. The bottom line is that this system must go, or we will never be free and technology will be constantly paralyzed. Simply, mechanization is more productive, efficient, and sustainable than human labor in virtually every sector of the economy today. Machines do not need vacations, breaks, insurance, pensions, and they can work 24 hours a day every day. The output potential and accuracy compared to human labor is unmatched. The bottom line, repetitive human labor is becoming obsolete and impractical across the world. And the unemployment you see around you today is fundamentally the result of this evolution of efficiency in technology. For years, market economists have dismissed this growing pattern, which could be called technological unemployment, because of the fact that new sectors always seem to emerge to reabsorb the displaced workers. Today, the service sector is the only real hub left and currently employs over 80% of the American workforce, with most industrialized countries maintaining a similar proportion. However, this sector is now being challenged increasingly by automated kiosks, automated restaurants, and even automated stores. Economists today are finally acknowledging what they have been denying for years. Not only is technological unemployment exasperating the current labor crisis we see across the world due to the global economic downturn, but the more the recession deepens, the faster the industries are mechanizing. The catch, which is not realized, is that the faster they mechanize to save money, the more they displace people, the more they reduce public purchasing power. This means that while the corporation can produce everything more cheaply, fewer and fewer people will actually have money to buy anything, regardless of how cheap they become. The bottom line is that the labor for income game is slowly coming to an end. In fact, if you take a moment to reflect on the jobs which are in existence today, which automation could take over right now if applied, 75% of the global workforce could be replaced by mechanization tomorrow. And this is why, in a resource-based economy, there is no monetary market system. No money at all. For there is no need. A resource-based economy recognizes the efficiency of mechanization and accepts it for what it offers. It doesn't fight it, like we do today. Why? Because it is irresponsible not to, given any interest in efficiency and sustainability.